Saving history, that's what we do. We may not recover the oldest U.S. history, but we find some pretty amazing things, and we have a lot of fun doing it. See the old house across the street. That's an 18, uh, I believe it's an 1884 house across the street. A little patch of grass here in the front. We found some pr pretty cool stuff. This is silver hot when I call them over. We've got a special guest today. <laughs> and silver hawk. This is an old school site. We've been here before, but today's difference is they've cleared out all this brush right here, and you can see the railroad lines are right over there. So this new spot we haven't checked out before. It's very, very windy today and very cold, so I figured I would film before my face falls off. And of course, before I go to the truck. So Colton and I are out detecting here, and Silverhawk is behind this tree. So wish us luck, and yeah, we're gonna head over to that new spot over there. But we thought we'd try under these trees first. Can't help it. Good spot. Go on. Mm hmm. So we found. What looks to be some sort of clasped lid. Maybe a hinge type thing there. Hey guys, I got a solid 1215 signal here, low tone, and I just popped it out and it is in awesome condition. You guys, I can already tell what it is. It's a buffalo nickel. See it in the hole there? Right there. Plug it out. Look at that. I can see the Indian there. Flip it over. There's the buffalo right there. See it? That's a nice one. Oh, yeah. For our soil here in Washington State, that is in good condition. Hopefully, we can get a date off of it. All right. I'll let you tell the story. Well, I was looking for nickels and I bought my first gold with the Equinox. Uh, wow. Stamped 10K right there on the inside of the band. Oh yeah, I can see it. Sweet. Yeah. And you guys, this is a park that's been hunted out since the 80s, man. Yeah. With the Equinox 800. I've been there a little while, too. Do you remember what your numbers were? It was a 1011. Really? Was 10, it like 11. a low tone? Yeah, it's nickel tone start. Yeah, 12, 13, 14, so I thought maybe it might be a nickel on edge or something like that. Awesome. Wow, good job, man. I'm looking for the elusive buffalo, and I got gold. Good job. That is a nice chunk of gold. It is. It's got some a little bit of weight to it for being a small ring. So, uh, Little Rosie just came over to camera. I just filmed Tyson. He just got his first gold, you guys, with the Econox 800. Awesome find. Stamp 10K. And then I came back over because I was in the middle of popping a plug. And I just got a military button. Come in close, you guys. Look at that. <laughs> Let me get a brush on it. So, two two good scores you guys like back to back look at that it's in good condition too oh, that's an awesome find. Yeah. it's got an iron back to it i'm glad i got that button with now yeah i'm glad we stayed here Ooh. it's a war nickel it's um it's got a san francisco mint mark you can see that there, and then it's 
1940. Bring it over. It's a 43. 43, cool. That's awesome. Okay, guys, I got a super high tone in the hole, popped it out, and it was an Illuminati. So, got worm. Look at that, like a silver coin. But it's a Washington State tax token. So I was all bummed out and depressed. First of all, let's get this out of the way, hit it. Okay, so I was all depressed, but then check it out. Look at the top left corner of your screen. Watch this. Wow, check it out. That's an old marble. Nice, in good condition too. Kind of a reddish orange. Sweet. Good deal. All right, guys. So that uh, that war nickel was, was was silver coin ninety nine for me, and I was like, it's getting late in the day. I'm like, oh, I gotta get one hundred. <laughs> Cut. You're so excited. I'm just so excited right now. I think I just got silver number one hundred. Check it out, you guys. It was on top of the plug. I couldn't find it with a pin pointer. I was looking everywhere. And then I kind of took a brush and it fell down. Check it out. I can see a rim. It's a silver dime. Number 100, guys. See that? It's definitely a dime. Check it out. Yeah. Oh, it's a mercury. Ooh, it's war. Oh, man. I'm shaking. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's a mercury. Oh, man. That was maybe a barber. It's really war. Wow. Can you get a date there? It's an older one. 23, I believe. Yeah, 23. Nice. Wow. Let's see if there's a mint. Oh, it's wore down. Silverhawk's on fire today. Looks like it was a 53 right uh, there's an old baseball diamond right here at the edge of the playground so came up as a I thought it was gonna be silver it came up as a 1244 high tone but anyway I'm gonna check the hole might be something else here uh, there's nothing else in that hole but right next to it I just got this looks like it's a it could be a ring old copper ring it's got a little bit of almost see a little bit of gold guild still on the inside kind of flaking off Just a junker, but it's an older one. All right, next high tone. Some type of a winder. Hmm. Anyway, that's what I found. All right, next target. Still behind the old uh, baseball diamond. Check it out, guys. I've been digging all the low tones. It looks like people have been ignoring the low tones. And I've got a lot of trash. But this came up just like a pull tab, but it was a strong 12 about 12.15 on the CTX. It just fell out of the sidewall. And this looks like jewelry. What is it? It's an earring. All right. Pretty cool. It's got some stones in it. All right, here it is cleaned up. It says, uh, it has a maker mark there. AGMC looks like. Anyway, that's the back. And here's the front. It's kind of got some stones. Oh, I see. It's a snowman. Uh, just a junker then. Pretty cool though. Next target is a weedy. That's a pretty good impression. You can get a year off it here. 
It's like an older one. Yeah, it's an older one. It's a 1918. All right. It's got silver. Here's the 1918 uh, wheat. Don't know a mint yet, but check it out. My very next signal, right next to it. Couldn't find it in the plug, and I, you can see I ran my pinpointer through it and knocked it out. There's the impression right there. You can see it. Oh, it's a mercury dime. Nineteen thirty-five. Is it? Um, I think so. Okay. Yeah, nineteen thirty-five. I, I got water in the truck. I just put my, I emptied my pouch out. I took my water bottle out. Good job. All right, I thought we had more silver here. I had a screaming high tone, and it was showing twelve inches deep. So I was thinking, oh. All right, another wheat sitting on a root here, up against the fence that goes along the. Baseball diamond. Starting to get excited. All these targets here. Everyone's saying it's like 41. Everyone's saying this park is hunted out, but I mean they're deep. Got the 17 inch uh, mine lab coil on today, and they're coming in crystal clear. Hey guys, I'm I'm so excited right now. I'm shaking. I'm just kidding. Hey guys, uh, so Tyson found that gold ring, and check it out. My next target after those weedies. Still along this uh, old fence line here. I'm going to see if you guys can spot this. Okay, look around. Do you guys see anything really cool? I'll give you a hint. It's by a pine cone. See it? See it? Bam! Alright, this was a screaming high tone, guys. I don't know how anybody missed this. One nice thing about the CTX is you can go right along these chain link fences and you can still listen for your uh, multi-tones. I love it. Anyway, I'm pretty far away from the fence, actually. I'm a good three feet away from the fence. How did somebody miss that? Let's pop it. Bam. Oh, wow. It's heavy, too. Let's give it a one wiper. Yeah. Well... Is it silver plated? I think it could be silver plated. Hold on, let me put the camera down and I'll see if I can get a marking inside. All right, I got it in the sun here. I think it's probably plated. Yeah, it's got some weight to it, but I can't see a marking inside and you can kind of see the edges there where it's kind of corroding a little bit. I think it's plated. Oh well, man, it was a screamer too. Well, let's keep going. I'll clean it up. There's any marks and stuff. I'll, uh, I'll show it in the wrap-up. Uh, I just dug that hole, and I got my first buffalo in pretty good shape, 1920. And then right next to it, I dug a wheat scent, 1928S, which is also in pretty good shape. I just pulled a 1910 Barber Dime. It's beat up, but it's coming out of this really rocky, hard pack soil. Uh, I guess I better keep going. Hopefully I'll come back with something else nice. All right, you're probably getting tired of seeing that school background. Um, got the gold ring right there. Just got another uh, wheat penny. So can get a date off of it. 40. Yeah, 1940. Man, it's got to be a mercury dime here somewhere. We've got that barber dime, the old part of the school. This is a little newer. I think this is probably, well, I don't know. It's been here since the 20s at least. So I had a low tone, guys, and this is the first thing I saw. And I'm thinking, oh, man, that's an engagement ring. Nope. <sighs> that is disappointment. Let's keep going. All right, man, I hope this is good, you guys. I found a piece of a silver ring right there, just a little teeny chunk, and it has like a dolphin on it. Um, just a piece, though. A little lawnmower struck it or something, destroyed it. And then I, right over, I got another high tone right here, and check this out, guys. Man, I hope this isn't a bazinga. Let's pull it out together here. Oh, it is. Jeez Louise. 
Thanks, Dr. Pepper. Silverhawk found a gun. Good job. Yep. You're welcome. <laughs> Back when it was cool to bring guns to school. <laughs> cool to bring guns to school. Not anymore. They take that seriously. All right, the opposite side of the field. I found two of these now, and I feel like I should know what these are. They ring up high. Almost like they're brass or something. I want to say they're some type of a switch or something. Anyway, let me know in the comments right down here. Right down here in the comment section. Been out here hunting the spot that I know has been hunted many, many, many times, and I'm sure I'm not the first person to swing over this one. I uh, pulled a 1920s wheat penny and a 1940s wheat penny that I can't really see too eaten up, but I just got a Merc with the Equinox here. Clean it up and try and get some pictures of it and try and get a date, but it's fun to get silver when somewhere's been hunted out. Out here with the Equinox again. I just got something that I figured I better film and see uh, see what she is. It's this little heart pendant, but I'm pretty sure that's the eagle on it. Eagle and shield. Uh, I got no clue. I think I'm going to have to do a little research on this one. That's kind of interesting. Anyways, back to it. Silverhawk left his lights on. Can't tell you how many times I have to go back to the truck. You're so excited, he can't talk. What's that? Yeah. Kind of like a GoPro. Yeah. Anyway, we're across the street in the park. So, old stuff here. Not, not old there, not old there. Not, not there. <laughs> Alright, on to the next.